The Japanese capital of Tokyo can be found in the Kanto region, which is located on the island of Honshu, the country's largest island. One of the world's largest and most fascinating megacities, Tokyo's larger metropolitan area has a population of over 35 million people, making it one of the world's largest and most populous megacities. This city, which is hundreds of years old and has been shaken by earthquakes and burnt by battle, has refused to bow down. In the same way that the sun always rises higher in the sky, Tokyo has also progressed, fusing together its past with its present and its present with its future. Subscribe to AWZ and let us know if you enjoy our video. The subway and train system in Tokyo never stops moving, therefore the city of Tokyo itself is more like a stunning mesh of villages, towns, and cities. First-time visitors to Tokyo may feel overwhelmed by the city's magnitude and constant activity, much like the iconic Japanese monster Godzilla. Nevertheless, in spite of all the neon, commotion, and sheer number of people, Tokyo has a zen heart at its very core. The Japanese social system is distinguished by its adherence to tradition, ritual, and respect. This is the kind of community that adores its young people, respects its elders, and welcomes outsiders as though they were highly esteemed guests. you emerge from the subway in Tokyo, it may feel as though you have landed in a completely different city than the one in which you were just traveling. Tokyo is a city with numerous personas. In spite of this, Tokyo is a remarkably well-ordered society. Everything in the city has a specific location and function, and this is especially true of the city's neighborhoods. Your journey across Tokyo should start off slowly at the historic temple village of Asakusa. Pay your homage to Kanan, the Buddhist goddess of mercy, at Sensoji, the city's oldest temple. Sensoji is located in the center of the city. The golden statue of the goddess that was discovered in the river close by in the 7th century led to the construction of the temple that now houses the statue. If you make a gift at the nearby shrine, which was constructed in the brother's honor because they discovered the statue, then perhaps some heavenly good fortune will come your way as well. When you are ready to venture out into the streets of Tokyo, make your way to the Thunder Gate in Asakusa and visit Nakamai's Dori. This is a market street where devotees have been purchasing holy charms and delicacies for decades. After making your way through the crowds, get some peace and quiet at Wino Park before delving into the cultural relics housed in the Tokyo National Museum. Even though tradition and conformity are two of the things that hold Japanese society together, the younger generation in Tokyo is quite fond of expressing themselves. And this is nowhere more clear than in the Tokyo neighborhood of Harajuku, which is known all over the world as a hub for the youth culture and fashion industries. Yuyogi Park is located in Harajuku, and it is one of the largest green spaces in all of Tokyo. Locals get together on Sundays to relax, practice, and just hang out, which contributes to the park's reputation as Tokyo's happiest 134 acres. Just to the north of Yuyogi Park is a forest that contains 100,000 trees. These trees were transplanted here as seedlings from all over Japan when they were first planted. 
you can enter this forest by passing beneath the towering Tori Gate. And then the final step is to enter the Meiji Shrine by going via the main gates. Here, millions of people visit year to pay their respects to Emperor Meiji, a revered ruler from the 19th century who was instrumental in assisting Japan in shedding the shackles of its feudal past and developing into the modern-day powerhouse that it is. Shibuya is located just to the south of Uyogi Park and is home to one of the busiest pedestrian crossings in the entire world. Every neighborhood in Tokyo has its own rhythm, and the one that drives Shibuya is consumer culture and consumerism. Large department stores, such as the renowned Wako store, may be found in the neighborhood of Ginza. The main street in Ginza is closed to traffic on Saturdays and Sundays in the afternoons, creating an environment that is calm and almost otherworldly in nature. Ginza has a grittier side too. Be sure to stop in at the quaint yakitori restaurants and beer halls that can be found nestled away underneath the railway arches in the area surrounding Yurikucho Station. Explore the downtown business neighborhood of Marinucci for a change of pace. The wide tree-lined avenues and boutique stores in this area give Tokyo a distinct New York feel. In Akihabara Electric Town, you will feel right at home if you are into anime, manga, or gaming in any capacity. After nightfall, this location truly comes to life, just as the name of it says. Shinjuku is one of the most important sections of the city in terms of both dining and entertainment, so if you want to go out while the neon sky is glowing, you should travel to Shinjuku's restaurants and pubs. Stay up late and let the enchanted lights of Tokyo's evenings seep into your mind so they will remain there forever. After wandering through Tokyo's neon woodlands, make your way to the Shinjuku Jioen National Gardens to welcome the new day. In spite of the fact that Yoyogi Park is where most of Tokyo's young people congregate, these tranquil gardens are where the splendor of Mother Nature is celebrated. The Japanese have a proverb that goes, dumplings are better than flowers, which means that regardless of how much nature is valued, food is prioritized. It is widely acknowledged that Tokyo is one of the world's culinary capitals. When the cuisine is this amazing, people of Tokyo don't mind standing in line because the city's restaurants have been given more Michelin stars than any other city's eateries. You will find the freshest sushi and sashimi at the Tsukiji fish markets. After you finish eating there, you may pick up some sushi knives to use in your own kitchen. Take the elevator up to the observatories of Tokyo Tower when you're ready to get a bird's eye view of the never-ending tunnels of glass and steel that make up Tokyo. Rapanji Hills is the place to go if you want to see even more of the city. When you stand on the 52nd story of the Mori Tower, the entirety of Tokyo is laid out below you, all the way to Mount Fuji, Tokyo Bay, and more. The city of Yokohama, which is located on the western banks of Tokyo Bay, can be reached by train in just half an hour from the heart of Tokyo. When Japan opened its doors to Westerners for the first time in 1854, this ancient port became the country's very first point of entry. In contrast to the frenetic pace of Tokyo, life here moves at a more relaxed pace, giving it the ideal location to take a moment to catch your breath. Narita is now the primary entry point for visitors to Japan. The majority of people think of Narita's international airport when they think of the city itself. On the other hand, this tiny city provides a wonderful glimpse into old Japan because to its winding alleyways, historic temples, and beautiful gardens. The Naritasen Temple, which is dedicated to the Buddhist god of fire, may be reached by following the Omoda Sando. And before you go, don't forget to write a prayer and scribble it on the prayer wall. Because in Tokyo, everything has its place, and if you like doing things the way they were done in the past, or you just have a young heart, there is a space here that is just waiting for you to take it. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you've made it this far in today's video, we appreciate your time. We shall see you soon in our future video.